Good night, everybody. Hi, Fernando. Hello, teacher. How are you, sir? Oh, very well, teacher. Very well. That's nice. Yes, yeah. yes, teacher. It's really, it's really nice. Oh, somebody's asking me. Okay, only you and me. <laughs> that will be really good fun. <laughs> okay. That's nice. We gotta wait for the rest. Okay. How was your AJ? Was it really hard working today? Uh, yes. Today, yes. Yeah. What did you do? Yeah. Uh... Uh, today is um, mm -hmm. redact redactar noticias, teacher. Oh, you really? You you like uh, come up with like um, to double check and news news about what? It's about what uh, about in the eh, eh, sobre. Mm -hmm. Son documentales sobre el coronavirus. Oh, really? It's a doc yeah. documentals? Oh, doc wow, documentation. That's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah, but it would be through the website with video yeah. and everything. Oh, that's nice. Website. Oh, Programa in the, in the website. Oh, yeah. so it's, a, it's an online, sí. online program. It's a Dreamweaver. Ah, a Dreamweaver? Dreamweaver, yeah. Oh, okay. That's really nice. But I know it's really hard. <laughs> There's a lot of things to do, right? Images, try to like edit very, videos, exactly. Very inter interesting. Yes, it's really interesting, but it's a lot of uh, logistic, actually, because you need to yeah. like insert videos, insert uh, the taxes also, right? Sometimes you need to trans yeah, sometimes ah. you need to translate. Paragraph for the ideas. The video, video in the GoPro, Go, GoPro in the drone. Yes, exactly. So there yeah. are, there's a lot of things. People, it will be like just one article, but they uh, people don't know what is all involved, right? Okay. Involve many yeah. people, involve many resources. There's a teamwork, right? Yeah, teacher. Yeah, definitely. Oh my God, so you're a genius. I Yesterday I had internet problem. Oh, okay. That's why you couldn't get into the class. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. It started to run in the file. Oh, yes. That had happened to Javier also. Okay. Here? Yeah. No, I don't know what happened because we didn't have any ring. I think so, right? Mm. But hopefully today, yes, because it's really hot. Whew. Well, for me, it's really hot. I would never get used to here, <laughs> to be honest with you. It's okay. really hot. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm out with the uh, with fan with a fan, cause whew, I sweat a lot, and I don't okay. know why. Can you imagine? Me entendiste? Sudo demasiado. Ah, sí. Ah, y aún así no no bajo de peso. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Es que le entra mucho. No se baja sudando. Oh, okay. Y también con dieta. No, no, pero se y también baja más ejercicio. tomando agua. Oh, yeah. oh yes. Tomando Exercise. agua. Ahí es más. Y, y tomo mucha agua. Yo me tomo más yeah. de ocho vasos al día. Can you imagine? La dieta es la más importante. Muy poquito. No, no, más de ocho. <laughs> More than eight glasses a day. Yeah, I love water, especially with a little bit of lemon. I I love it. Mm. Hi, Gabriel. 
How you doing? Hello. Hey, how Hello. you doing? Nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> nice to see you again. <laughs> Hi, Claudie. Yeah. Hi, teacher. Haha, uh-huh. she was the one who was giving me advices on how to lose weight. Oh, I will take no. a note about that. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, no. I have lost okay. weight, but I need to lose to lose more weight. I know, and I hate you. <laughs> oh my God, I wish I could be you. You know what? Okay, you're copying the example of Mr. Javier. But I don't know where is him. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. he will be in today's class, which is, is going to be really amazing. Okay, yes, yeah, so we're going to do a lot of things today. And we're going to refresh a lot of information. So, you better have study, right? Because I sent you the PowerPoint um, file. So, you don't have an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Alex, how are you, sir? Uh... A great no. day today. A great okay. day. Are you sure? It doesn't seem like. Yes, that. I'm. Uh, I. I don't know. Llevé a mi esposa al hospital ahora. You took your wife to the hospital. Why? Yes, uh, because she's pregnant and. <gasps> That's crazy. Couple, yes. Now, maybe tomorrow. What, show what? She's going to give birth today or tomorrow? Yes. Today. Are you serious? Yes, yes. That's amazing. Oh, my God. And you don't know who's going to be a boy or girl? It's a girl. It's a girl. Mariana. I love girls. Diana? No, Mariana. Oh, Mariana. I thought, hey, Diana, you have a, a twin. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Mariana, yes. that's amazing. Oh, I wish yes. we could meet you so we can make like some baby shower for your wife or something like that. Oh, that's great. I love babies. Uh, yeah, but we lost uh, three baby shower in because the quarantine. Of course. Of yes. course. That, that, that is something that we cannot handle, right? Yeah. Right. But everything's yeah. going to be all right. You'll see. You'll have your baby born girl sooner back home. Oh, yes. I love girls. I love them. They're really uh, amazing. My first is a daughter. A it's daughter. Daughter. So yes. how many daughter. How many children do you have? Uh, with this, uh -huh. it's three. Three. One daughter, one boy, and now a daughter again. Oh, okay. So only one boy. Isn't the yes, middle one? Only one boy. Okay. One. Okay. How old is your older uh, daughter? My daughter have um, how old? five and a half. Five and a half? What about the boy? Uh, three and a half. Three and a half. And I'm not going to ask about the last one because it just has been a baby born. Are you serious? They're like, yes. they're like a two years in between, right? Uh, Except for the last one. Month, exactly, exactly. Wow. Twenty-five months. That's amazing. Hi, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Once everything passed, we're going to make something, okay, to get together everybody, okay? Okay. But we gotta wait, okay? So don't worry, <laughs> everything's going to be alright, okay? Thank try you. to focus. I know that it will be really hard, but try to focus on today's class, okay? Okay. I'll okay, try. cool. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing your happiness with us. We're happy Thank for you. you. <laughs> hey, <laughs> who else is missing? Dianita, how are you? How are you, teacher? I'm Pretty fine. good. Thank you so much for asking. Today I start my gastritis problem <laughs> because I already started working from home. Ugh. <laughs> yes. And since they work in a call center, can you imagine, right? <laughs> mm. Yes. So back to the reality. Ooh. Yes, tomorrow will be a real. What is your schedule, teacher? My schedule right now is right now is from 7 a.m. until 12 noon. Right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right now, Only next five hours. Yes, next coming week, um, it could be more than that because they will need uh, overtime for a lot of calls that will come. 
And um, but this week, at least tomorrow, will be for the seven to twelve. But I only have two breaks of ten minutes. And that's it. But it's in the morning. In the morning, yes. I need to start. Uh, yes, taking calls around at seven a.m. o'clock. And that, and o'clock is o'clock for them. <laughs> Yes, so I need to start preparing everything for like six and a half, six thirty, in order to be ready, like a ten to six, six to seven. Oh. Yeah. Teacher. Yes. Uh, um, do you work in your house? Right now, yes. Are you they, oh. they no, in, the, in the morning? Yeah, ah. they brought me all wow. the information. They brought me one CPU, one keyboard, one mouse, three cables that I don't know what is it for, but I. Try, I plug it in with my husband's help, like um, um, a telephone cable as well. That is a blue color, I think, and two monitors mm -hmm. and a headset. Can you imagine? But the headsets, I look like a CB wonder because they're really huge headsets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, they're really big. They're actually they're headsets for for the for game players. Yeah. So there are the huge ones, yeah. Oh, but yeah, I ha and I work with a lot of tools that you cannot imagine because I work for Canada. So, oof. yes, and I work for a, for a mobility uh, department, and I also speak French. So can you imagine? Great. In English, French, and Spanish at the same time. <laughs> That's a really complicated. Can you speak, can you speak us in French? No, because you're not going to understand. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> maybe, 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 maybe we're going to have in the future French classes. That would be amazing. Mm. We can teach yeah, you French. Mm -hmm. so, sometimes I will teach you words, okay? Like, for example, how to say hi, good morning, good night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I will try to teach you like that, okay? But don't worry. Let's start with the class, Great. Mr. Gabriel. Don't interrupt okay, me. Good, uh. good. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> okay, guys. Very good. Thank you so much. We have a lot of people here. We have Ernesto. And what happened with the teacher, Ernesto? I thought you were going to bring, like, um, I don't know, Real Madrid or Barcelona teacher. But uh, today was Gatorade teacher, or what happened? I don't think nothing, teacher. <laughs> okay, pensé que ibas a traer una teacher de, de otro grupo de fútbol, pero ella es Gatorade teacher, right? Oh, bitch. Okay, okay, vamos, ya cambiamos entonces de, de game. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> so, entonces hoy es de playa. Very good. Mr. Moran, hey, we have finally Mr. Moran. We sent all the documentation to him in order for him to do like quick recap of what we have seen in yesterday's class. Right, Moran? <laughs> he will start sweating right now. <laughs> like, okay, okay. Just let me ask you a question. What was yesterday's topic, Moran? Uh, the final class. <laughs> Don't help him, <laughs> Dianita. Sorry. Uh huh. <laughs> No, he fell, right? Uh, I, I'm going to just try to think about who's going to be my right hand. Moran, you are dismissed. Está despedido. Okay, just for this class, remember it was about quantifiers, right? Quantifiers that we can use with countable nails, countable nails, and for both. Do you remember? And we try to focus on how we can use it in our daily basis in a conversation. This is going one, to be one of the topics that we're going to review on our favorite game, Kahoo. But right now, I you don't know, you know every time that I mention Kahoo, Gabriel has a really happy face that you cannot imagine. <laughs> but right now, guys, as I promised to Claudita, right? We're going to develop the reading skill, actually, with an article, okay? Because this is a, a part of the skill that we have now worked a lot right now. We have just focused on speaking, listening, right? But note in reading, and reading is really important as well. We need to have all the skills at the same time. So 
let's start. And let me show you right now one of the things that I would like to show it to you really quickly about this topic. There you go. I'm going to share my screen in a couple of minutes. Give me just a moment. There you go. Oh, and if I speak really fast, please let me know, okay? Okay. <clears throat> and if you do not understand me as well, let me know. Okay, cool. Can you see it? Yes. yes. Okay, cool. Yeah. That's amazing. All righty. Okay, guys. Basically, we're continue talking about family. In this particular article, we're going to put in practice as well, uh, present continuous, okay? We will put in practice as well quantifiers, but here we're going to continue to develop the breathing skill. So basically, this is what I want you to do. Let's start. Um, I'm going to ask you one question, okay? This is going to be Scheming. Remember that a scheming is when you ask for a specific question and you don't have to read the whole article. You just need to focus on the answers of the question or questions. Okay? This is one of the practice that we're going to do right now. And what will be the question? I will let you know in a minute. Okay. Is it better? Yes. Okay, yes. cool. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay. The questions, guys, I will give you one minute to do that. No more time. Only one minute. And uh, I just want you to find for me the name of the, of the people that is talk about this article. Only the name of the persons. Okay. We have one, two, three, four, four, five people. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. So I want you to find it out for me, the name of the five of them. <clears throat> okay. Just the name. Okay. You can memorize it. You can write down in a piece of paper, whatever works better for you. <clears throat> I will give you one minute. Don't read the whole paragraph. Just get the name of the, of the people of each person. Steve, Judy. Ernesto, don't give copy. <laughs> okay, time is over. Okay, cool. Um, Fernando. Hi, teacher. Hi. What is what one? What is one of the names of the people who's talk who's talking about this paragraph or this article? Okay. Mm. Just one name. Emily is having a great time in the outside so, school program. No, don't don't tell me. Don't read for me the paragraph. I just want to know the name of the person. Okay. You said Emily, right? <laughs> Is that correct? Yes, it's correct. Very good. Okay, Alex, there's another name here. Could you please let me know it? Josh. Josh, very good. Gabriel, what's the other's name? Uh, Steve. Steve, very good. Ernesto. Benz. Mm -hmm. Benz. Benz, okay. Benz. Uh, I think we're missing one of them, right? We got Josh, Benz, who else? Judy. And, Steve and Judy, very good. You see? You didn't have to read all the product, all the article. I just want you to get the information of what I need. You're scheming. Okay, guys. Do me a favor. Um, try to read the title. Just read it for yourself. Okay, then do me a favor. Try to read for me the first line of this little article. Just read it for yourself. 
Okay? Just the first line. When it says American families are changing, that's all that I need. Okay, cool. Guys, um, according to this, that first line and according to the topic of the article, what, is, what do you think this article is going to talk about? Uh, the general idea, general idea of the article. What do you think? Talking about, about family. Of, Talking about yeah. family. Very good. What else? Role of, of one uh, of the family. Okay, very good. What else? Uh, <clears throat> Let's practice the speaking. Family, roles, very good. What else? Caldita, Gabriel, Ernesto? Daily routine. The routines, very good. What else? Problems. Problems, all right. What kind of problems, Claudita or Moran? What kind of problems? Mm, works. Very good. Okay, what else, Mr. Moran? One of the years of person. Okay, very good. What else? Uh huh. Maybe the habits? Mm -hmm. That might be. Okay. And also, guys, tell me what exactly, a, which country we're going to talk about? Do we going to talk about Latin American people, European people, or which country exactly? United States people. American people. United States, American people. Okay, American exactly. People. Of course, everybody lives in, in, um, in America, right? But in this case, when they said American people, they will always refer to the people who lives in the United States. Exactly. And maybe, okay, they said changing family. That means that maybe in the past, it was one type of families, one type of behavior, one type of habits. But nowadays, it has been a lot of changes, right? Yes. Okay, so that's what we're going to talk about. Okay, guys. Very good. Let me ask you another question. There's another way to have a general idea about what this article is going to talk about. What is it? Okay. Let's focus on this thing. I'm not, I'm not going to ask you to read each of these guys. I just want you to read this particular, yes, scenario. Let me double check something really quickly. Okay. Okay. For example, guys, let me give you this example. In this particular paragraph, this is a little paragraph. This is a little bit article. Okay, but we're going to, uh, we have choose this one because we're going to go from the easiest one to the hardest one, okay? And this is really a good example. Okay, guys, another way, for example, to have like a general idea what is this article talks about and you don't have enough time is basically just read the first line of each paragraph. For example, we have in this little um, paragraph or in this little article, we have only two paragraphs, and that's it. In this case, the first line is going to be, Gabriel, can you please read it for me? Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, American families are changing. Okay, stop there. American families are changing. That is the first line. That's all. Okay, Let, let's double check the second paragraph. Can you please read it for me, and Gabriel? Judy and Steve Morales have three children. Josh, 12, Ben, 9, and Emily, 6. Okay, stop there. Okay, we have the two first lines for each paragraph. Okay, so they give me an idea. It the families are changing. We're going to talk about American families. And here we're going to have an example of one specific family group. Judy's and a stiff family and the three guys. That is what you're talking about. That's going to be the whole scenario of the whole story of this article. You see? When you read just the first line of each paragraph, in this case could be, this is a short paragraph, right? But if we have another article that has more than one paragraph, which is normally do, okay? One of the th topics that will be really helpful for you not even in English, also in Spanish, or another language that you're reading, 
is like if you read every, the first line of each paragraph, you will get like a general idea what will be the, um, the topic that the article is going to talk about without reading the entire thing, guys. That is a really, really nice strategy, okay? Especially if you don't have time, okay? And this is one of the main things. Okay, now guys, another topic, another, another strategy. Um, for example, most of the articles, this is not the case, because this article is a, is a little bit different, structurally different, but most of the articles has four paragraphs, most of them. The first one, in the first, first paragraph, and most of the time, in the first or the second line, you will get the author's point of view all the time. And the last three paragraphs, it will give you the reason why the author thinks about that. Okay? ¿Quieres que lo repita en español? Yes. Okay. Yes. Este no es el caso porque este artículo está estructurado de diferente manera. Pero la mayoría de los artículos tienen cuatro párrafos, la mayoría, o un poquito más. En el primer párrafo va a tener usted el punto de vista del autor. En el primer párrafo. ¿Sí? Y su idea principal la va a tener en la primera o en la segunda línea del primer párrafo. All the time. En los tres párrafos siguientes o en los cuatro, dependiendo del tipo de artículo, el autor le va a dar a usted la razón o razones por la cual él, él o ella piensa de X o Y manera. ¿Sí? It's really important. ¿Por qué es importante eso? Porque a veces, cuando hagan ustedes ya el toy called TOEFL, va a haber una parte donde, el TOEFL sobre todo, donde usted tiene que hacer un ensayo. Y el ensayo consiste en rebatir el tema que el autor está diciendo, ya sea que usted esté a favor o que usted esté en contra. Esa es una parte. Y la segunda parte del writing es otro ensayo. Pero es usted elige el tema y usted crea el ensayo. Por eso es que es importante porque uno tiene que aprender a ser conciso. En sus ideas. Y uno de salvadoreño y de latino, ¿verdad? Que es mucha chalaco. Sí, vea. Yeah. Sí. Exacto. Y muy onomatopeico también. Utiliza muchos soniditos y todo. Entonces, a nosotros nos cuesta ser concisos. Y los americanos son otra cosa. Ellos son bien puntuales. Igual que los ingleses, son bien puntuales. Ellos van al grano. ¿Sí? Entonces, es importante uno aprender a cómo sintetizar o sistematizar sus ideas para tratar de plantearlas específicamente sin usar mucha palabra repetida, sin utilizar mucha muletía y también que se dé a uno entender, no como cantinflas. Que hablaba, que hablaba y al final nadie le entendía qué es lo que había dicho. So, por eso es importante ese tipo de ejercicios, right? Ok. Ok, guys. Muy bien. ¿Qué vamos a hacer hoy? ¿Ven el cuadrito rojo? Sí. Yes. Sí. Ok. Déjeme ver, pues, entonces. ¿Qué teacher? ¿Y usted qué hace aquí? Ok. Ay, no, 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 no. Demasiado, teacher. Demasiado. Ok. Déjeme ver. Ok. Creo que, déjenme ver si lo muevo un poquitito. Déjenme moverlos a ustedes también, porque me desconcentran. Ah, no, mentira. Ok. Very good. ¿Qué me hicieron? Ahí está. No, teacher, aún así a usted no le funciona. Ok, good. Bye. ¿Está bien así? Mm. Déjenme ver, voy a quitarlos de aquí. ¿Está bien así? ¿Sí? Sí. Yes. Vale. Entonces, ¿Qué el quiero? El rojo no se ve todo. Sí, yo sé, pero porque no quiero que se vea. Ah, ok. Ah, porque yo ya sé todo lo que dice ahí. 
Entonces no le voy a dar copia, vaya. ¿Qué es lo que quiero que haga? Yo quiero que usted me empiece a leer el artículo, solito. ¿Sí? Pueden empezar por aquí y después van a empezar, van a seguir con cada enunciado, ¿ok? ¿Les parece? Okay. Okay. Vaya. Entonces, quiero que lo lean. Son las 9 y 29. Tenemos exactamente 5 minutos para leerlo. No vaya corriendo. Trate de entender las ideas. Si usted no entiende una palabra, no se entiende. No me pregunte, teacher, ¿qué significa eso? No, ahorita no. Ya después vamos a practicar eso. Léalo para usted y trate de comprender la idea general del párrafo, aunque no entienda una palabra. ¿Sí? Les voy a dar exactamente... Bueno, ya les quité un minuto. Les voy a dar hasta las 9 y 36. Denle pues. Me avisan cuando quiere que le suba la paginita para ver los enunciados de cada persona. Would you like me to move? Yes? Okay. No, who said no? Claudita. No, yes. Okay. You're welcome. You got five minutes right now. Mood, please. No, I'm not going to answer any vocabulary. Not right now. No, que la mueva, por Can I move it? Okay. Yes. All right. All right. Yes. Thanks. There you go. You're welcome. We got four minutes. Who's typing? Three minutes, guys. Okay, did everybody finish? Yes. Yes, cool. Yeah. Okay, guys. Okay, now let me ask you. Now let's go back to the to the red circle or the red square. Okay, guys. We already have read the article, okay? And now let me ask you. We have two questions on the top. Can you see it? We have two questions on the top. Can you see them? Yes? Yes. Okay. Uh, could you please help me read it, uh, Mr. Moran? 
a question? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, why do women work outside the home? Okay, the other one. What's happening when but parents work? Okay. Okay, guys. So, thank you, Moran. So, according to the article that you have read, guys, uh, uh, which, which of the two questions that Moran have read basically describe the article? Or what which, or which, uh -huh. the question two. What Are you sure? When both parents work. What happened? Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Definitely, it is. yes. Very good job. Exactly. Okay, guys, excellent job. So, you see, the first question answers basically what is the, the article talks about. Okay, very good. Um, but tell me something. What happened, according to the article, guys, what happened with Judy? Yes, Judy is the wife. That's correct, Moran. But what happened to her? Or what had happened right now with the modern families in the United States? Um, I staying with the family need money. Exactly. Uh, on the past years, if you remember, guys, only the man has to go out and work, right? Mm -hmm. And right. the woman stays home and take care of the kids. Is that correct? It's correct. But it's nowadays, correct. according to the article, what had happened? The that only one, only one parent has to work or both of them? Both, both of them. Both both of them. them. That this is the case of Judy and his, her family, right? The Morales family. How many children do they have? Three children. Three children. Three children. What is the name of the oldest one? Josh. How old is him? Twelve. Twelve. How many boys do they have? Ben. Two. Two boys. Two, Two boys. boys. And? One girl. One girl. What is her name? Emily. How old is she? Six. Six years old. Okay. Tell me something. What is the name of the of the father? What is his name? Steve. 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 What does Steve do? Uh, a, computer a computer programmer. A computer programmer. Very good. What does Judy do? She's, she's, uh, hospital. 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 Exactly. Hospital. Does Judy loves her job? Yes. 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 what? Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Uh -huh. yes, she does. Okay. But, let, but tell me something. Everything is, um, everything is okay on the family or they still have some problems? Um, they are... Some problems. They have some problems, exactly. Exactly. For example, Judy has to work more time outside the house. So who's helping her with the house chores, with the house activities? Oh, sure. Steven, Josh. Steven, does he enjoy it? And Josh. He doesn't enjoy it. He doesn't enjoy it, exactly. Exactly. What about Judy? According to what you have read, that she, she does she get tired? Yes. Yes, yeah, she does. Exactly. Does she worry about her children? Does she worry about her children? Yes, she worries. Yeah, she worries about her family. Exactly. And let me ask you, Judy works from Monday to Friday, right? Mm -hmm. And Saturday no. too. Saturdays do. Wow, okay, very good. Saturdays do. So let me ask you, uh, as a couple, does Judy, no, do Judy and Steve have time to, for, to, uh, for being together? They, does, they don't have a lot of time. Exactly, very good. They, they don't have time. They don't have time, Gabriel, exactly. And, we, and still, they have problems with the three kids, right? For example, tell me something. 
who is spend, uh, of the three kids, who is spending most of his afternoon in front of the TV? Ben. Ben, okay. Ben. Okay, who doesn't want to leave from her as after a school program? Emily. 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 And tell me something. Who is spending more time on the phone? Josh. 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 Very good. So tell me something, guys. Is it really hard? Does that happen the same in your family nowadays? Uh huh. Tell me something. This is the American family, right? But this scenario, it only happens in the United States or also happens around the world? Around the world. Around the world. Around the world. Maybe it is too. El Salvador's too. Yes, maybe it's, a, it's the same situation that we live, right? Maybe yes, maybe not. Okay. Very good, guys. So you see, you see what we, with only one article, we have read a lot. Yeah, we have studied a lot. Now tell me something. Now, yes, Claudita, I'm ready to answer any vocabulary question. Yes, teacher. Very good. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Any vocabulary? Um, anybody? Anybody can ask. Can ask. Especially yes, Moran. I, I, I know. have a question. I knew teacher. it, Gabriel. Go ahead, sir. <laughs> yes. Can I ask you about the exercise from platform, about this article? Yes, what happened? Yes, uh, because today I having the exercise mm -hmm. and, and the first uh, question mm -hmm. say, which children are benefit from duty working? Mm -hmm. For me, for me is uh, children are benefit Fitting from duty working for me is Emily and and Ben and Ben mm -hmm. yes and if if I answer this but it's wrong mm -hmm. in the so platform mm -hmm. it's Emily and Josh mm -hmm. Emily and Josh Emily and Josh yes. yes. Because Josh is working in his play guitar, playing guitar. Mm -hmm. In the music, exactly. Yes. I tried this too, but... Try Josh and Emily. Ah, okay. You see? Great. I have a really, a really great, great classmates. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. They are my right hands, so I'm, I, I let them answer you. Thank you so much, Alex. You are the best. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but, but be per care, very careful with the capital letters, okay? Because they are all um, proper nouns or proper names, okay? So sometimes they could not uh, go so well if you do not use capital letters, if you forgot commas, if you forgot punctuation. That is really important. Guys! Okay. Claudi, Gabriel, yes. before Hello. we continue, any more vocabulary or we're good? I'm sure. How Say short it right work, now. How work short? How, how short? Es como decir tareas domésticas, like the laundry, mm -hmm. like the iron things, right? Exactly. Those things. How shorts, how household shorts son tareas domésticas? It's the same on housework. It's the same. Mm -hmm. Housework sería trabajo de casa. Household shorts, tareas domésticas. Basically, it's the same. Solo la terminología cambia. Okay. It's más sophisticated the second one. Any, okay, any more questions? So far, so good? Spending. Spending. Where is it? In Banks. In Banks. Banks school doesn't. Right now, he's spending. 
most ah, okay. afternoon. He's spending most afternoon. Él, es, él pasa la mayoría de las, uh, de las tardes en frente de la televisión. Es pasar. Ajá, spending. Spending time, pasar, es pasar. Pasar haciendo algo. Permanecer. Uh -huh. ah, okay. Muy o bien. Gastarse el tiempo. Eh, podría decirse en buen salvadoreño. Yes. <risa> Exacto. Muy bien, chicos, rapidito antes de ir a lo que tenemos que ir, que yo sé que les gusta. En, es, en los cinco enunciados, ¿pudieron identificar cómo se usan los quantifiers? Ya que es muy importante que lo recuerden por lo que vamos a hacer a continuación. A lot of. A lot of. Very yeah. good. ¿Qué otro? Must. 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 Muy bien. ¿Cuál otro? Much. Few. Mm -hmm. few. Much. Few or a few? Both. Both, right? A, a few. A few. Very good job. What about this little article? Do we have any um quantifier there? Yes. Most. 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 What else? Um, some. No. Mm -hmm. Some problems, yes, you're right. Anything else? Both. This is a, a quantifier. Lot a lot of. Very good. Any other one? Some. Some. Good. Some problems. Some problems. Very good. Excellent. And let me ask you guys, all these quantifiers that we have in this particular article, do they come before the noun or after the noun? Before the noun. Exactly. Very good job. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. It's enough, right? A reading. Are you ready? I am ready. You are ready. <clears throat> okay. Before we continue, we're going to work right now, Kahu, okay? Do you like it? Yes. yes I like oh, okay. It. Everybody <laughs> like say, yay. It. Okay, you better. You better because we're going to put in practice everything that we have seen so far. So you have better study, guys. If not, you're going to get in trouble. Okay. All right. Let me open right now the WhatsApp because I'm going to send it to you, the pin of that particular scenario. Did you study? No. A few. Oof. A few. A little. Uh -huh. You're not using the quantifiers appropriately. Uh, so you're going to lose in this particular playing games. <laughs> yes. All righty. Let me just one moment because right now the computer, for some reason, doesn't want to work. And yes, I think it's working. Yeah. There you go. This Kahoo guys that we're going to play, I had to let you know, is intense. Okay. It's intense because we have actually twelve questions. All right, 12 of them, guys. So hopefully you have a study. Okay, I almost sent it to you, the, the link of the, of the page right now. There you go, let me open it. the WhatsApp group. Okay, this is the page. Can you see it on the WhatsApp group? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Cool. Yes. All right. Now let me open it. I'm going to open it right now. Almost there, almost there. I will give it to you the pin as soon as I have it, okay? Ooh. 
All righty. Let me silence the music right now. And I will show it to you right now, the pin. Okay, guys, I sent it to you, the pin. Trying to enter it, please. Teacher. Yes, student. Perdone. Medita el pin. Ah, sí, con gusto. Ya ahorita le dicto el pin. El pin es el. En inglés se lo voy a dictar, ¿ok? Uh -huh. <laughs> Three seven four nine nine two five. I repeat it three seven four nine nine two five. Okay, we got Claudita, we got Butterfly, which is me, we got Moran, we have Ingrid, Alex, Alexander, Marta, Gabriel, and Fernando. Who's missing? ¿Quién me falta? Gianita. I am. I am. I am. Me. Ernesto. Ahorita, ahorita. Ok. ¿Somos solamente 11? Américo, ok. 12. Ok, ya estamos, right? Yes. Ok, cool. Let's start, guys. Please read carefully the instructions, ok? Read it. Ok. Yeah. Pero no nos está compartiendo la pantalla. I'm sorry, 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 sorry. Let me stop there. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> sorry, guys. And díganos I cannot stop it. Hoy díganos cuál es la correcta. Sí, I will do it. No. <laughs> sorry. It's my, my, it's my mistake. Van a sacar todo cero. Oh. Yes, everybody will be. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay, let me share it. Okay. Okay. ¿Ya no pueden ver? No. Sorry. Yeah? No. 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 Okay. Esa no cuenta, ok, don't worry, don't worry, porque ta, nadie tiene puntos. Se me olvidó que tenía que compartir, I'm sorry. Ok. ¿Hoy sí? Yes. Ok. Ok. Pero veámosla para que tengamos esa idea. Dice, what do we, when do we use the present continuous tense? Teníamos. Uh, to express that something it is happening now. To express something that happens in the past, something that will happen in the future, in the near future, or red and blue are correct. Miren que teníamos dos correctas. ¿Por qué? En realidad es para los dos, tanto para present continuous, para algo que está aquí ahorita, como también lo podemos usar a futuro. Pero ¿se acuerdan que dijimos que no íbamos a ver eh, cómo se usa present continuous a futuro? Sino que nos íbamos a focalizar en el present continuous, what is happening right now. Mm -hmm. Por eso es que les puse que si me la ponían esta, estaría buena. Porque precisamente solo eso fue lo que vimos. Y si me ponían las dos, estas dos, que es la par, también se la valdría como buena. ¿Sí? Mm -hmm. Por eso. Ok. Mm -hmm. Oh, sí. Are you guys ready? Yes, we're ready. <laughs> Let the Great. battle begin, right? Okay, there you go. Zero. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> Let's continue. True or false? We can only use present continuous, just no question and answer with the verb to be. True or false? Solo podemos usar present continuous con a just, con a just no question and verbal to be? Si o no? True or false? Don't say it. Don't say it. Come on. You got seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. It's oh. false. Come on. 
Ash. Dianita, great job. Yo voy a salir siempre en cero porque yo no juego, ¿ok? Estoy entrando, pero no juego, porque si no, le voy a ganar. Mentira. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who's in second place? Alex. Martita, great job. Ingrid. Ajá, hasta ahorita se va metiendo Ingrid, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Le estaba esperando el Yahoo, el Kahoo. You better, you, you better be in the first place, ¿ok? <laughs> ok, let's continue. Quiz. According to the following uh, present continuous affirmative sentence formula, choose the correct sentence. We have subject, verb to be, verb in ing. Which of the four is the correct one? Read carefully and also follow punctuation. It's really important. Affirmative sentences. Oh, come on. What happened, guys? Affirmative sentence. Subject, bird, to be, and very ing question. ¿Te podría hacer la primera? No, porque estoy, estoy preguntando la fórmula del affirmative sentence. No estoy preguntando una question. ¿Podría ser este? No. Why? Porque estoy hablando afirmativo y aquí estoy haciendo una sentence negativa porque está not. ¿Podría ser este? No. ¿Por qué razón? Porque le falta el punto. ¿Esta? Esa es la correcta. ¿Por qué? Porque tiene todos los elementos y sí tiene el punto. Aunque no crean, yo soy muy, muy, muy temática, se podría decir, con la punctuation. Porque no me interesa que no escriban bien en español, pero en inglés sí me tienen que escribir bien. Muy detallista. Demasiado, diría yo. Very good. Can we continue? A ver quién va. Dianita. Uh -huh. Martita and Alex. Great job. Continue. On a present continuous, just no questions. The verb with ing goes after uh, uh, the beginning of the sentences or the questions, yes or no? En las preguntas de just no question, el verbo con ing va al principio de la pregunta o no? Come on! El verbo con ing va al principio de la pregunta, yes or no? No. No. Ya ves, es que este es un momento de atención. Exacto, no. Al principio va el verb? To be. To be. Am I working? Is she studying? Are you playing? Yes. Ajá, pobrecito Alexander, me la estás pagando todo lo que me has hecho de, de que me has, me has molestado el internet y supuestamente que no se entiende cuando hablo en inglés, ¿sí? <laughs> I'm just teasing you. Alex, great job! Dianita, Martita, Gabriel, you're on the, on the game as well. Okay, let's continue. Quiz, following the PC negative formula. Negative formula with just no questions. And choose the correct answer. Don't forget punctuation. Ooh, very good. Actually, there were two answers. Why? Because do, do you remember that we can use pronoun like here, they are they, but also we can use the whole subject, my friends, and both are correct. Okay. Great job. The other one's not because it's missing a period at the end of the sentence. Okay. Also, this one is missing. Alex, you rock. Martita, well done. Gabriel, you're losing. Come on. All right, quiz. What is she doing? Take a look at the picture, guys. What is she doing? She's studying geography. 
She's studying geography. She's studying geography. She's studying geography. Vean que no está escrito bien el verbo studying. So you need to be careful which one is the correct one. Okay. Ah, not too bad. ¿Quién puso la del rojo? She's studying geography. Se escribe no studying S-T-U-D-Y-I-N-G. ¿Y la Y qué pasó? ¿Se acuerdan que ese verbo no se quita la Y? Se deja y se pone ING. Ya te vi, Alexander, fuiste tú. No, me lo escribí. All right, let me double check. Dianita, Gabriel, you rock. But Alex, Alex is still winning. Winning, very good. Let's continue. Quiz, what are they doing? They drink a cup of coffee. They are drinking a cup of coffee. I don't know. And they are drinking a cup of coffee. Look very careful and follow punctuation, please. Punctuation is the clue. <clears throat> Hey, ¿Quién pu qué, ¿Quiénes pusieron la tres, el, el, el amarillo? ¿Por qué no estaba bueno? Porque faltaba el punctuation. El punto. Exactly. Por ese punto te bajo puntos. Sí, saben que yo tuve una profesora que me hizo una vez una, una, un, un writing exam. Me pusieron nueve oraciones y todas las saqué perfectas, pero a tres se me fue el punto. Me bajó tres puntos y me saqué seis en vez de nueve. Me dolió. Y desde esa vez no se me olvida el punto, jamás. ¿Y, y te sabes cuántos años tenía yo? Tenía 12 años para ese entonces. Ay, hace mucho, el like that way. Continue. Gabriel, Alex, be careful. Because Gabri Gabriel is on the rock. Let's continue. I'm coming. I'm coming. Will you simple present simple. to talk about habits, routine? And scientific facts. Acuérdense que había una diferencia entre simple present and present continuous. ¿Para qué ocupábamos el simple present, guys? Para have his routine and scientific facts. Is it true or is it false? Bravo. Solo uno me dijo que era false. Yeah. No, yeah. I, Alexander, ya ve que sois tú, eh. I'm just no. kidding. No, I just teasing you. Go on. <laughs> All right, let's continue. Aquí está, ¿ves? Ajá. Gabriel! Good job! Bye-bye, Alex. <laughs> Janita, you rock. Great job, girl. Moran, finally. Very good. Congratulations, sir. Let's continue. We use quantifiers, few and a few, for countable and uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns. Countable nouns. We can use them for both, or they are not quantifiers. Which is the correct answer, guys? Very good job for countable nouns, correct? ¿Quién me dijo que for both? Moran, espero que no haya sido tú. They are not quantifiers. Come on. Alguien lo estudió. Y lo acabamos de ver, fíjense. Ingrid. Moran, what happened? <laughs> bye bye. The Ingrid was the first one to answer. Great job, uh, Ingrid. Continue. Choose the correct sequence of quantifiers so you can fill it in the gaps with the correct one. Aquí hay cinco. Y ustedes, aquí hay diferentes opciones. La A o la B. Lean bien. Eso está bien difícil, right? I don't know. Som, solo somos y any. Mm -mm. Ay, no, 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 no. Ay, yo lo siento. Time. Aquí cuenta el time. El rojo había puesto. Ay, sí. <risa> Let me double check. Ingrid fue la primera. Y Gabriel sigue el papel. That's great job. You see, Ingrid has the highest under streak of three. Fantastic, Ingrid. Good job, girl. Thank you. True or false? These are quantifiers that can be used with countable and uncountable nouns. Verdadero o falso? 
todos estos quantifiers se pueden ocupar para los dos accountable and countable nouns que dicen ustedes Be carefully ayer se lo mandé rápido ay Ernesto <risa> ah, ¿verdad? Ya ven, sí está. Cada, los cajú cada vez van a estar más difíciles. O sea que, o you study with me, or you study. Either or it's fine. Gabriel, I'm sorry. Dianita, great job. Dianita and Ingrid were the first ones to. No, Fernando. Fernando, te quedan solo tres. Ok, teacher. Fernando, you can do it. Or false, the last one, guys. These are quantifiers that can be used only with uncountable nouns. Quantifiers que solo se pueden usar para uncountable nouns. Much, a little, a bit, a large amount of, a large quantity of, a plenty of, false or true. True or false, guys. That was true. Ooh. Alguien no estudió los quantifiers. <laughs> en tercer lugar, Alex. Great job, Alex. Second place, Gabriel. Good job. And the first one. Dianita. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, my girl. <laughs> you rock. Okay, that's nice. Okay, guys. I'm sorry, but we have to go, right? We gotta leave. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I know you love me. I love you too. Another game. No. <laughs> <laughs> but it's time to say Revancha. goodbye. Revancha. Revancha. Yeah, Revancha. maybe. <laughs> if we continue in the same group, definitely will be. And... Um, okay, cool. Maybe I will have another tools because I have a, right now I'm taking an in support uh, online course. So they are giving me more tools. And can you imagine? I'm studying a lot. Oof. Okay, guys. So hopefully, hopefully we're going to see you, see each other next model. I don't know. A possibility. Okay. But um, thank you so much for being in today's last model class. It was my pleasure to be your teacher. Okay. Thank Me you too. so much for your patience. Sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for being nice students. Um, well, they do not check so frequently the platform, but hopefully you do. Please study. Okay. Take care. Finish the platform. And do me a favor. Um, I think they already have sent you how will be the new model to send all the paper documentation. Is that correct? It's correct. Yes. Okay, could you please be so kind to send all the documentation as soon as possible so we can start the next model as soon as possible, please? Okay. Yes, because we need all, all your information in order for us to start as fast as we can. I think the next model will start on April the 8th if I'm not mistaken. That means next coming Thursday, I think. No, for, no Wednesday, right? Eight, eight is Monday. Eight is Monday? Are you serious? Yes. <gasps> oh my God. You see? Because I have been a long time without going out that I lost right now. I have lost the time. So it's Monday. Okay. So basically, we're going to start on Monday. Yes. No. Oh, April the eighth is on Monday. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Wednesday. Who said Monday, Moran? Oh, huh? no, Who Alex. Said Alex. <laughs> Alex, come on! You're confusing the teacher. No, no, no. Okay. Yes, we're going to start on Wednesday. Hopefully, okay. But that depends on you guys. Okay. So please send the papers as soon as possible. That will be amazing. I don't know if I'm going to be with you. I don't know. Hopefully, yes. But if not, please be nice with the teacher, okay? <laughs> be nice. And also try to collaborate with the teacher because all of us are really prepared and are here and willing to help you, okay? 
It was a pleasure to be your teacher with this model. I wish you a great day, a great rest of the week, a great weekend, and hopefully we can see you next coming model. Okay, guys? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Have a lovely night. Take care. Bye bye. Congratulations, Alex, for your new baby girl. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye.